Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today, my old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. After the death of the chief of army staff and 10 other military officers passed away a lot of information regarding the absence of the president and the vice president who failed to attend the funeral which was held on saturday raised a lot of eyebrows from people and a lot of people went to backlash the president and his vice for not attending that particular funeral ceremony that a lot of people were in attendance and expected that at least the president should be there and even his vice because the chief of army staff was heading the whole military that was controlling the security in nigeria but right now an aid to the president on social media has now come out to explain the reason why because it didn't seem right when a whole president and vice president never turned out for the funeral of this man that took the flight and then crashed in the course of their own duty it's not like they were having fun or any other thing they were out working for the country when this incident happened and so a lot of people felt that the last tribute that should be paid to them was at least to attend their funeral service which the president who had appointed him chief of army staff is meant to be there and also the vice president and so many nigerians were not happy with that at all but today and now the aide has now come out to ensure that he explains to nigerians why the president wasn't present at that particular funeral however he said that um the army chief of staff and the 10 other military officers who died in that military plane crash in Kaduna state while on their official duties their remains were laid to rest at the national cemetery on saturday may 22nd 2021 however many nigerians you all know that attacked the president and the vice president for not making out time to attend the funeral since it was held in abuja where they reside because everybody had felt that if it was in another state on that country this funeral was taking place you would have understood and said okay probably that would have been the reason but it was in the same place the same location where the president and the vice reside that was where this funeral was held and that was what angered a lot of people because they were like what's your reason the distance is not far it's not like you're having long hours to travel or embark on a trip to come for the burial this is just a short distance away from where you are located and loretta who is the aide to president buhari on social media has come out to give a reason for the president's absence and she shared this said why president muhammad buhari did not attend the funeral for late chief of army staff and other heroes who died in the aircraft for nigeria and according to the presidency muhammad buhari the president of nigeria needed at least 48 hours clearance before he would depart presidential villa to any event presidential spokesperson who is Loretta Onoche revealed this on her social media page and this was exactly what she wrote down for a president to be at any funeral or event outside the presidential villa the event must have at least 48 hours for intelligence operatives to do surveillance and clearance before the president can go based on the security report in a case where the coerce that's the military men that actually passed away and his team died on friday that's yesterday as she put it and had to be buried today saturday 
you don't expect the president to go there where there is no security clearance. The minimum time of 48 hours wasn't met. The insecurity parlance, funeral ceremonies are where politically exposed persons face more risk. This was exactly what the aide had written down, explaining that for any president to actually attend a funeral, they need to be 48 hours clearance so as to ensure that the place is safe for the president to be there and if it's not up to that 24 hours they've not done any form of clearance any form of security check that the president cannot be there and that is the reason why the president wasn't able to attend the funeral which a lot of people expected that he should be in attendance but well you know for security people for people that are in the government sector it's not easy for them to always step out just like that i think in this case it's understandable because they have their own protocols which they need to adhere to it's not like every normal civilian who can just walk out there definitely you know that the rate of insecurity has been so high and all those checks need to be in place. But at the same time, you'll be saying you wish this security check can also be done, applied for every other person as well. Because people are facing a whole lot right now due to the rate of insecurity. And in as much as the one that guide the top government officials, I wish that would have been same for other well-meaning nigerians or civilians that are being attacked one way or the other that are being kidnapped one way or the other because that has been on the height but i think now that they have actually cleared the air a lot of nigerians would also understand that these are protocols that need to be observed and they can't jump ahead of those protocols i know such kind of places are places where those government officials are usually exposed because they can never tell who and what is out there for them well since they have explained i guess nigerians will get to understand why they were not present at the funeral however it's still a very painful death and loss for those families but amidst all of that what the president had to do was present buhari has also described late lieutenant general ibrahim atahiru the chief of army staff as an outstanding soldier and an institution builder who fought valiantly for nigeria until he breathed his last and in a telephone conversation because that was what the president had to do since he was unable to attend or he knew he wasn't going to attend he had to ensure he reached out to them via phone conversation which he did on sunday evening yesterday may 23rd with mrs fati ibrahim atahiru the wife of the late course and the spouses of other deceased officers through their president buhari hailed the sacrifices of the military men who lost their lives and the armed forces in general saying that the nigerians will continue to appreciate and support the fearlessness with which the courageous soldiers were confronted with even confronting the threats facing the nation knowing that they were out there for the security of the country and the lost their lives and a statement released by the presidential spokesperson that's gaba shihum said the president gave the grieving spouses assurances that the nation will never forget the supreme sacrifice of their spouses and also urging them to take solace in the surge of extraordinary feelings of emotions across regions religious and tribes all over the country in appreciation of their sacrifice because knowing that this man lost their life while on official duty and the president who had earlier given directives to the defense headquarters and the ministry of defense to do everything a government can to provide comfort and ease 
the hardship of the families of the deceased. And he also prayed to Almighty God to repose their souls and grant their families the fortitude to bear the loss. Mrs. Atahiru, on behalf of the rest of the families, thanked the president for the love and care he had shown to them because he was not present at the funeral, but he had to ensure that he reached out to all the other officers, families, so as to pay condolence respect to them. Owing that these men were serving the country when their whole lives were cut short from them. Once again, may all these military men that have passed away, may their souls rest in perfect peace. And may God keep consoling their families because it's not easy. It's a very difficult moment for all of them. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.